time for our weekly check-in with Dr. Zorba Pastor. In the next segment, we'll be taking your COVID-related questions, and we'll let you know when it's time to call in. Dr. Zorba Pastor joining us from his clinic in Oregon. Hi, Zorba. Hi, good to see you guys. Let's talk about the medications that President Trump is on now. Yes. So first of all, as soon as uh, the president went into Walter Reed, he was given a cocktail of antibodies from a company called Regeneron. And these are antibodies not from people. In other words, they weren't uh, developed from plasma or serum, but actually they were generated in the lab. That may have been one of the things that helped keep his fever down. He was also given dexamethasone. That's very important. Dexamethasone is generally only given when you're short of breath and very seriously ill with COVID. But they may have jumped in before that. We don't, of course, have all the information from the doctors at all. But it was given dexamethasone. And by the way, one of the side effects of dexamethasone can be mania. Mania and a feeling of uh, sort of a higher feeling, like you just are impermeable to anything. And that's a very common side effect of lots of steroids. In addition to that, he was also given oxygen. And the reason that he was given oxygen was his oxygen content must have dropped down significantly. So he was pretty sick for those first two or three days. But, but, but I want to caution you. I want to tell you just a story that I think that goes along with this. Patient that I just talked to on a video call from my office. Uh, this is a guy who works really hard, uh, electrician, puts in lots of work, manual labor. And a, about 10 days ago, somebody came down with COVID. A week ago last Thursday, came down with COVID in his group. So he had to self-isolate, went to the Alliant Energy Center, Center, the test was negative. Remember, we have false negative tests. And then three or four days later, he started to get sick. The test was then positive. And he was in bed for about four to five days on his back, hardly eating, couldn't smell, can hardly walk upstairs even now. And this is roughly 10 days after he got COVID. This is a guy who's worked for 30 years and has never lost a day of work. Mm. So the reality is this is a very serious disease that often hits you a week after it actually starts. It's not something that should be taken lightly. It is not like the flu. It is much more serious than the flu. Well, and that story really illustrates that there is a period of time between when you get infected and when right. you are infectious. Exactly. And people exactly. can't seem to quite wrap their head around it. It's a little confusing. No, no, they can't. And also, they don't realize necessarily that not all tests are the same. So some tests are more sensitive than others. And a negative COVID test doesn't mean that you don't have COVID. So he was told by his employer, one person in the group had COVID. You've got to self-isolate for two weeks. Perfect example, because he was infected. And even with a negative test, you can't assure that that doesn't mean you don't have it. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's spreading so rapidly throughout this country and throughout Wisconsin, in northern Wisconsin especially, in Green Bay and areas up north. Yeah, it is run, running rapid at this point. Right. All right, 270-9933 is the number to call. If you have a question for Dr. Zorba Pastor, we'll get to your questions right after this.